Viruses are easily the most abundant life form on Earth, if you accept the proposition that they're alive. Try multiplying a billion by a billion, then multiply that by 10 trillion, and that, 10 to the 31st power, is the mind-boggling number of individual viral particles estimated to populate the planet. Viruses come in many shapes and sizes, although they're all small and infect everything, including plants and bacteria. None of them work in precisely the same way. Is a virus a living thing? Maybe, sometimes. It depends on location. Outside of the cell, a viral particle is inert. On its own, a virus can't reproduce itself, or for that matter, produce anything at all. It's the ultimate parasite. Viruses travel light, packing only the baggage they absolutely need to hack into a cell, commandeer its molecular machinery, multiply, and make an escape. A virus's travel kit always includes its genome and a surrounding protein shell, or capsid, which keeps the viral genome safe, helps the virus latch onto cells and wiggle inside, and on occasion, abets its offspring's getaway. Some viruses also wear greasy overcoats, called envelopes. They're made from stolen shards of the outer membranes of the last cell they infected. Influenza, hepatitis C, herpes viruses, HIV, and coronaviruses all have envelopes. These greasy overcoats break down in soap, which is why you should wash your hands often. For a virus to spread, it must first find a way into a cell. Penetrating a cell's perimeter isn't easy. Yet viruses have ways of tricking cells into letting them in. Typically, a portion of the viral capsid will have a strong affinity to bind with one or another protein, dotting the surfaces of one or another particular cell type. Viruses use proteins sitting on the cell's surface as docking stations. The binding of the viral capsid with that cell surface protein serves as an admission ticket, easing the virus's invasion of the cell. The viral genome, like ours, is an instruction kit for the production of proteins the virus needs. This genome can be made up of either DNA, as is the case with virtually all other creatures, or its close chemical relative, RNA, which encodes genetic information just as DNA does. Most mammal-infecting viruses' genomes are made of RNA. Another crucial protein or enzyme for viruses is known as a polymerase. Inside the cell, polymerases generate numerous copies of the virus's genes, hijacking the cell's molecular assembly line to produce capsid subunits and other viral proteins. Capsids, a virus's protein shell, self-assemble from their subunits. Freshly made copies of the viral genome are packaged inside newly made capsids for export. Sometimes the escape is violent and involves the new viruses punching through the outer membrane of the host cell a process known as lysing. But enveloped viruses can escape by an alternative method called budding, whereby they wrap themselves in a piece of membrane from the infected cell and cloaked in these newly acquired greasy overcoats, slip through the cell's outer membrane. Even then, the cell having birthed myriad baby viruses is often left fatally weakened. 